hi everyone so today's video is going to be a little bit different because i'm going to be sharing how i achieved um this look using my daily makeup products and i'm just going to explain in i guess detail why i chose to use um, some products hope you guys like this one hi so i thought today i'll do a quick makeup everyday routine so this is what i usually do and it takes me roughly um 10 minutes i hope you guys like this one it's something different from my normal book reviews and puzzle reviews so let me just tie my hair so first thing i usually like to use the glossier lip balm so this is the berrybalm.com i like this one because it's very um, soft moisturizing and it smells really good so i just do that while i do my makeup and it's very effective and then i then use the glossier uh, priming moisturizer i've had this for i think three years and i really like it um the only bad thing about this moisturizer when it's really hot and you try to use it it will just like slide immediately out of the tube so that's something um to consider but otherwise it's a really great moisturizer so i just do that mm -hmm. yep and i like how it has like you no know, fragrance but also has um fragrance so good love love that and then i then use um sunscreen i'm actually using the black girl sunscreen but i'm using the kids version because my other one finished and i realized um it has like the same ingredients but this one is cheaper so that is a life hack if you're curious so sunscreen i like this sunscreen because um it leaves no white cast and i think it's because it's actually made um for black skin so it's really good yep mm -hmm. so we have a face done like the first step and then um the next step that i usually use is brows i use the elf instant brow pencil <coughs> my shade is black i like this one it's very cheap and affordable and yeah that's why i got this i've been using this pencil for like the past six years because it's just very beginner friendly and it has um the spoolie and the actual pencil that's why i like it so for brows honestly i just like a natural kind of look so i just outline um the edges of my brows i mean i just outline it and then once i outline it i then brush it up again to be honest i feel like for me this step like does not matter that much because when you use a concealer it's gonna come out well and then i use the concealer i always use the la girl pro concealer i actually need to get a new one but i have this shade and this shade and this shade so it's um i have three different shades i have the dark cocoa and i have the espresso actually i lied i have two 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 similar shades so cocoa and espresso and they always work out fine for me that's why i've always been using them so i then outline it's actually finishing <laughs> yep so i just outline my brows it doesn't really matter because you can just um shape it how you want it but this is what i prefer to do i know it looks really strange and weird right now but trust me it's gonna come out okay i hope yeah so that it looks really strange i look very strange but it's okay it's gonna work out and then i use a brush so i like to use the elf concealer brush to just outline it well and blend it and i'm usually 
I like to use uh, one shade lighter than my face concealer because I think it just works uh, better for me that way. But I think you can just use um, the one that you use for your face as your eyebrow concealer. So either way, it's going to work out. Um, yep, so then I used um, the flawless concealer brush again, e.l.f. I like e.l.f. because it's a very affordable uh, brand. So if you're a beginner in makeup and don't want to splurge too much, e.l.f. is a great place to start. They have amazing uh, products. Actually, when you're looking for brushes, most of my brushes are actually from e.l.f. Actually, most of my brushes are from e.l.f. So they have really good products. And I, I don't know, maybe if it's a camera, but it's once you like blend, it's gonna really um, just settle in with your skin really well. I know from the camera, it looks a little bit um, lighter, but like don't fret, it's gonna come out really well eventually. So once I just blend um, the concealer, I then um, use my Glossier Boy Brow Gel. I've been using this um, again for like six years. So this one actually just finished. So I'm using this one. Um, this is the shade Black or Noir. So I like this one. And then I just uh, brush, brush my eyebrows. It's pretty simple. And then it's now looking like it's it's coming through. Okay, where, where did my brush go? Okay, so again, we just blend. I think the key with like brows is just make sure you blend. I personally prefer like the natural brow look. So it's like not too shaped. That's what I personally prefer. But at the end of the day, just um, do you. And then for foundation, I always use, um, I use Bobbi Brown SPF 15. I, I'm in the shade um, Cool Expresso. I also like the foundation stick um, from Bobbi Brown. Um, my shade is also um, Cool Expresso. They both work out really well. And I like this when I'm, when I'm like traveling. It's very easy because it's stick foundation. It's very easy. And then I also have Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I like this for like, um, let's say I'm going to have a long day. I like wearing this because it's double wear and it's, I feel like it really works well for like the entire day and then i also use um smashbox um cosmetics my skin um tone is dark so i use the 4.25 um shade and then for foundation i think for today i'll just use the bobby brown liquid one so i like the applicator you just pump it so a little goes um the long way and then I just put it. Mm. And uh, I actually need to wash my, my blender. But I just um, tap it. I mean, to be honest, um, I am not a makeup artist. But I feel like this works for me. And it's always uh, worked for me. So that's why I like it. And then I don't know if you can see, maybe if it's the uh, lighting for my camera because I'm just using my phone, but it's almost blending. And I like this one because it already has SPF. And then once I have that, I just go in with my e.l.f. foundation brush again. I just blend. Blend. Yes. And um, with this foundation, it has like a distinct smell. I don't want to say like eucalyptus, but it has like um, this certain like distinct plant smell, which I really like. That's also something to note if you don't like your product having um, fragrance. You should probably keep that in mind. And then after that, I go in with my concealer. So now I use the 
the oh yeah i was right i actually do have three different shades of the concealer so i have truffle i have um dark cocoa and i have espresso so usually espresso i like to use with like my eyebrows and then a uh, dark cocoa and truffle i use uh, for like my under eyes so i just do this um and sometimes if you want like a quick makeup look um you can just um, use this as like a foundation and it works really well And then I just again um tap. I find like if I start with the blender, it it works really well for me. So I just um tap first, then I go with my foundation brush. So tap tap tap. So I tap, and then I use my concealer brush to just go under there again. I hope my phone battery doesn't die. My phone has been acting up, but yeah. So we are blending, blending. Um, and then, so I'm done with the face part of it. So now, I usually what I like to do, um, the next step, I usually like to do my lips. Um, so let me find my lip liner. I usually, um, I usually use the MAC lip liner. I have um, the shade Night Moth and I have Chestnut. I also have, um, I also have NYX um, Espresso. And I find that this is a very great dupe for Night Moth because it's very... Mac is very expensive compared to next, uh, but for today I'll use uh, I'll use night moth. So I just outline my lip. I just like to go at the bottom because my lipstick is usually like roughly the same color as this, so that's why I have been using this shade a little bit um, more often and frequently. And honestly, it doesn't have to be that perfect because the lipstick is going to make everything better. And then I use this lipstick. Um, I love this lips. This is the Bobbi Brown um, Crush Lip Color Blackberry. And this lipstick and Night Moth Lip and they go well, so um, so good together. And I like this lipstick because, um, like, let me just show you. This is like one layer. So if you want that subtle lipstick look, this is really good. And then if you want to go like dark, you can just like add it several times. So it's like a nude lipstick and also like a lipstick lipstick. That's why I like it. So I don't know if you can see it well, but it looks really good in person. And then after that, I usually then go with my, with my blush. I, I've been using the Glossier blush. For the past um two years um so i use the shade um eve so this is a cloud paint blush and i've been having this for like literally two years and sometimes people on tiktok like go over like finish their blushes in like two months and i'm just surprised like how is that possible but i like this one it's very dark screen friendly also that's why i like it i just like um to put it um on my finger then i just tap it I don't know if you can see it there but it looks really good in person so i just uh, do that and then i add a little bit on my nose uh where did i put the lid okay so do that and then i use this uh, uh elf um elf brush i just like tap like the remaining then i just uh blend I actually use my hand first, let me not lie. I used my hand first to just brush it and blend. And then that's when I go um, with this brush. Just make it um, upwards. Honestly, this works for me. Let me just put that it works for me. 
and i am not a makeup artist but it works for me because some, sometimes people come for you for having the wrong technique but this works for me and then after that i use my setting spray i always like to use the nyx setting spray um so i use the matte um so this is a matte finish a long setting um long lasting setting spray and it's 60 ml and it's i, I, I think i've had it for like one year so it's really good i spray and then i uh, usually my last step i like to do my eyes so i just use an eyeliner um i can't find it so usually um actually i i, I have two eyeliners so i have the mark jacobs um eyeliner the black one but then they discontinued the this line so that's unfortunate but i really like this one and then i also use the mark black eyeliner i have been loving that for so long <laughs> i can't find it oh it's here so this is the mark eyeliner uh this is the small that i call um liner it's the black the black color i like it's very pigmented so i just glide it yeah so i don't know if you can i don't know if you can i don't know if it looks well on camera but in person it's very pigmented maybe it's my lighting but i love this one the only i guess but not bad thing but usually like when i apply it i feel like i maybe it's the how it's, it is or maybe how i sharpen my pencil but like half of it is like used so it's like slanting, like the shot, like the actual tip, but it's slanting. By the way, it's a great eyeliner. And then I use, um, I then go to mascara. I like to use the Fenty Beauty mascara. I have the mini one, cause to be honest, it lasts me for like an entire year. So that's why I just use the mini one. And then I just, so mascara, I just, Okay, I, for, I forgot to like speak and like give my commentary, <laughs> but yep, eyeliner. And then um, just to like clear things, I just go in with my concealer brush again to make every, to make sure everything is perfect because I just realized I put a little bit too much. Yeah. And then um, I think that's it. I just finished this part. And then um, that's it. So this is my everyday look. Actually, it took me longer than 10 minutes. But usually, like, I feel like once you get used to it, it's going to take you maximum um, 10 minutes. And I think I've been doing this um, for the past one year. And usually, I feel like I'm feeling a little bit um, colorful. Sometimes I like to add, like, an eyeshadow. Uh, but I won't do that um, today because I'm going to like an event. Um, but yeah, so I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can like see it in person. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. So I think I'm just gonna go to the bookshop, look for like new books to read this month, and I'm also going to work on a new puzzle this month. Hopefully, I upload that at the end of the month and um, do a book review for what I read in May. So that is my plan. But thanks for watching.